Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and I'm here today to be doing a super duper duper exciting unboxing I've been waiting for and it is literally 39 horses I bought online on Mercari. If you guys are wondering where I like buy my like horses in general or collective horses, I have an entire video dedicated where I explain where I buy everything so go check that out. And yeah, let's get on with this unboxing. I'm so excited. This box is so big. I think this is probably the biggest model horse box I've ever gotten. And it was like, it literally says it's eight pounds. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. I also have my friend Charlie here who is going to help us unbox. He's my unboxing friend. You're gonna be my helper, my little unboxing helper. What's in here? Let's open it. Okay, this is actually like gigantic. So, um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Like, whoa. So this is like a mix of Collecta and Schleich models. So uh, it's a little bit of both, which I'm really excited about because I have definitely been more interested in Collecta models recently just because I feel like some Schleich models are getting a little unrealistic which i also made a little video about comparing them so i'll be able to make another vi a comparison video i think because i'll have more models to like compare them to so. all right so this is the first one. Oh, i don't know what model this is but it's really really pretty i'm in love with this wow so this model is really pretty i really like like the gold kind of sheen there are a few marks on it, but not like anything. Oh, so something that I just realized about Collecta is they have the type of horse it is. So this is the Australian Stock Stallion. Excuse me. We are not supposed to be eating the box. Well, apparently we are, but I really like this one. Okay, you don't eat cardboard. It's not good for you. And it's about the same size as like maybe a little bit bigger. I really like him though. All right, so let's take out what's next. Ooh, I actually have this one already. So this, I think it's like the paint mare. I want to say, oh, I forget. It's the pinto bear. I love how they have these on the bottom. I'm like already forgetting just because I'm so used to like not having the label of what breed it is. But I think that's like so, it's like really convenient, I feel like. And I really love this one. She's about the same size as like as well. And her position, I think like is a little weird, but I like it overall. Okay. And oh my goodness, this is one of the Preswalski horses, the retired like Preswalski horse. And I was like surprised that they were selling this one in the bundle. And on its own, I feel like this model is worth a lot. And my model that I have is not in this good of uh, condition. So I'm really excited to have this one in such good condition. And they actually have two, I believe, sent in this model. So in, in this box, there's two of these models. Um, so it's like really exciting to have another one. Maybe I'll custom one, I don't know. Okay, let's see what is next. I'm literally just like sticking my arm in here. Oh, so this is one of the Collecta casts. This is actually gigantic. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> Guys, this is like literally the size of the Preswalski horse. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that large. But um, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, this is Schleich? Wait, what? Oh my god, this is a Schleich cat. This must be really old. It is so big. <laughs> this is like the size of a foal. Not even kidding. All right, let's see what else is coming out of this magical box. Oh, this is the retired Frisian mare. I have so many of her I need to paint, actually. So, but this one's in very good condition. I'm surprised. This one might be my new, like, keeper because I usually have one model um, that I will keep the original coloration and then I'll have a bunch that I'll repaint. So I think I'm, this might be my new keeper. Like, she's in such great condition. I'm so surprised. Okay, reaching my hand to find something else. <laughs> Where are you, horses? <laughs> All right, I found one. Oh, this is uh, um, Morgan Mare, and this is Safari LTD. I actually had one of these models. I really like this model, though. I don't. I didn't like her at first because she was Safari LTD, and I was like, I will only collect like horses. This horse is terrible, but I think she's actually really pretty, and I'm so glad to have this model in my collection again. I might repaint her. I don't know, because she has some, like, scratches and stuff, but she's not in, like, terrible condition, so I might consider keeping her just the way she is, and she is just perfect. Okay, horsies, where are you? It's like fishing in, like, a blind bucket. 
Okay, so I do think I have this one. Or maybe not. This is a little bit different, I feel like. So this is a thoroughbred mare. No, I do not have this model. She's very pretty. I feel like she is a pretty good representation of what I work with since I work with thoroughbred horses like every day. So I think she's very, very nicely made. Um, I definitely think that. So this is 2011. I don't know if I've seen this mold before, but I think she's really pretty. Oh my god, I thought that was a third ear for a second, but it's just her forelock. It's really nice though. Okie doke. Let's see what else we have. Oh, this is the little, uh, I think, yeah, Dartmoor mare. I keep forgetting they're on the stomach. Yeah, I already have this one, so I will definitely be repainting her. And I just love this model in general. She's, like, one of my favorites. And she is quite small, actually, in comparison. Like, this is the Poiswoski horse, and she's about the same size, so. Okay. Magical box of wonders. Oh, wow, this one's really dusty. My goodness. Or maybe that's not dust. I don't know what it is. So this is the standard bred stallion. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, his legs are in a kind of a strange position. I'm yeah, I'm not sure. He's not terrible from this side, but I feel like from this side he kind of looks like a spider. But I don't know. This leg just seems like a little too extended to me, and this one seems like very. I don't know. Maybe it's. So he's a standard bread. Maybe that's just like the, I think they have different gates. So this might just be a gate that he could be found doing. I don't know. It just looks a little, a little off, but. Okie dokes. Let's keep opening. Oh, there's lots of bags in here. Wow. I don't know why they didn't put the horses in the bags, but um, that's strange. Okay. I think maybe it might've fallen out. I don't know. All right. Oh, so this is the Dartmoor Pony Stallion. So I have this one ready as well. So I will be repainting this one. Although this one seems to be in like better. It's like a different coloration than the one that I have. Mine doesn't have like these dapples on it, which um I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan of. They don't look very very realistic, but I still love this mold. What is next in this beautiful box? Oh, this is the other Preswalski. Wow, this one's in even better condition. My goodness. <gasps> this is definitely going to be my keeper. She is so perfect. I love this model. And wow, she is in such good condition. I am super surprised and so happy about that. She has liter literally like nowhere, like anywhere. And then her paint job is still pretty like intact. Minus like a few little tiny blemishes. All right, which is next. I will find more. Oh, I've never had this model before. Fun fact. So this is the Abaco, Abaco. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Barb Mare. She's really pretty. This person had such a good like collecting. Like they knew what they're doing. Like this is a, such a pretty model. I think I'll repaint her. Possibly. I don't know. Not. I feel like the color's a little messy and it has some you know scratches and stuff but overall I think this like mold is really nice and I've never like uh, honestly never I uh, maybe I've heard of this breed before but I definitely have not seen this breed as a model she's really nice she's like she like size too so fits in perfectly okay moving feeling for a horse okay I feel one Oh, there's two of her? I did not know there were two of her in this. I guess there are. So, another retired Frisian mare. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is the Halflinger Foal from Collecta. And I had no idea that they were, like, this good quality. Like, I don't have any Collecta Foals. I expected them to be much bigger, honestly. But, wow. I'm really in love. And, like, I feel like this could also be, like, it's, like, the same size as a Schleifel. Like, a little bit bigger maybe but wow so so cute i might have to order more foals that are from collecta it's just like so detailed and tiny and adorable okay let's see what's next <gasps> this one still has a tag wow so this is the lipizaner stallion and he is in a very fancy little position it probably has a name i'm gonna guess but i don't know it i really love this model like it's really nice and I don't have that many rearing ones. I definitely do not have one that's in this position. So it's really cool to have one that's in this position. 
what is coming up next oh this one's new as well so this is the andalusian stallion wacky is really like really i don't know how to say it majestic i feel like he's just so wow blown away very like a lot of detail no charlie we don't chew on horses no charlie no 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 wow um compared to the schleich andalusian stallion i think this is definitely an upgrade <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. Okay, we're getting deep into the box here. Charlie, stop eating the box. Oh, so this is another one of the same. So another one of these. So I'll probably repaint since I have two of the same now. And their paint is like in a weird, I don't know, the texture is off on that. Okay. Oh yes, I was so excited when I saw this one. So this is also a safari. Oh, and this is a Chincoteague pony. Oh my gosh, it's precious. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. This is maybe one of my new favorites. I don't know. I'm like, this is so cute. Chincoteague ponies are like super duper cool. I've always wanted to go and see them like run because they're, I think that's in North Carolina, I want to say. Um, and I used to read that story about, like, Misty and the Chickateek ponies, too, so I might name her Misty. That's such a good name. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this model. This is the Appaloosa, I think. Yeah, Appaloosa Stallion or Gelding. Appaloosa Gelding. Wow, I have been wanting this model for so long. I was gonna order a bunch, but not a bunch i was gonna order one but i'm so glad i finally got him oh my goodness he's so handsome wow collector is really like top notch i'm telling you wow he's really pretty i think in this part i feel like his wrinkles are a little like excessive but i don't know if that's just me or whatever but he's really pretty I'm not a big fan of his blanket like i feel like it could be better but i mean you know when you're producing toys at such a high scale like I feel like you have to you know do it one way or another but I think I might touch that up and make it a little bit more detailed okay wow there's a lot of like newspaper <laughs> let's see this is the Shire Stallion believe it or not I've never had this mold like in my collection ever so this is a first I actually am not that I kind of like him like I saw him in his pictures and I actually included him in the top horses that I would never buy but seeing him now in person like I'm totally changed. Like, I don't think he's terrible anymore. He's really cute. I'm really glad I have him, but his color, it, he either needs to get, like, a bath or something or something, or I'll paint him again. I don't know. See, it's, like, a weird... That's on the other ones, too. I don't know what happened to these guys, but I'll try and fix it. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is um, incredible. <laughs> oh, so this is the other Appaloosa Stallion. So, I will, or Gelding, I will paint the other one or whichever one is in like has more scratches or whatever so psyched for that okay Ooh, uh, this is the halflinger mare and i'm actually a really big fan i saw her online and i was like eh, maybe not but i'm actually i think she's really pretty she seems like she's kind of in a similar position as this one a little bit she's a little bit smaller Definitely like scale and really pretty. I really like this one. And I guess this is her full and oh my god, they're such a cute pair. I can just see them like running along and the mom like look turning looking back at the baby. It's really adorable. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so this is the Analogian oh Lusitania stallion. Oh, wait, is this the Oh, they kind of look similar almost. Oh, no, they're like indefinitely in different positions. I don't know what I'm talking about. He seems very angry at the moment, but I really like him. Wow. Or just look at that forelock. He looks so sassy. Like, if, look at that lip, too. He has so much, like, so much going on here. I love it. This is definitely what a lot of the horses at my work look like that are thoroughbreds when they're angry. So I love the emotion that he's displaying. It really... I think they captured him really well in this sculpture. These are more, I feel like these are so much more like sculptures. They're like really pieces of art and not just toys. 
All right. This is so exciting. I'm like loving Collecta more and more every time, I swear. Okay, so this is the third Standard Bread Stallion, and this is another Spider Horse. I'm gonna call them Spiders. <laughs> All their names are gonna be like Arachnid, I feel like. I like this. I mean, I, I feel like I like them a little bit better in black, but what is up with this weirdness? Maybe I just need to wash them. I think that's it. They're just dusty. I feel more. It's like, oh my god, when is it gonna stop? There's just more and more and more. Oh, this is a Schleif model. Oh, and he's in a lot better, like, better than my keeper model right now. This is the Tennessee Walker Stallion. Now I'm looking at the Schleich and looking for the name, but it's not there. It's only, I think Schleich should start doing that. Put the name on the bottom of the tummy because I think that's very helpful. If you forget, I like this guy. I love him. I already have him in a model and I've done several repaints on him as well. Okay. There's still more. I feel it. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this guy. Oh, he is slightly purple. Okay, well, I'm going to paint him then. This is the Frisian Stallion. I think he is super duper handsome and like very, very majestic. Very statuesque. Like, look at that beautiful bod. He's really handsome. So I'm gonna have to fix him up, but it's not that bad because he's basically just all black. So that'll be an easy fix. Fix that magenta spot on him. Okay, what do we have? Oh, this is the Black Forest Mare. I think she's really, really gorgeous. I'm not too big of a fan in the stance she's in, but definitely, like, showing some emotion. She's like, whoa, wait a second. Like, hold up. <laughs> she's really pretty. She almost reminds me of um, this stance a little bit. I think they might be... Oh, wow. Yeah, they might. she might have been built off of that one um because i think their positions are practically like the same a little bit more of an arch back but overall pretty similar okay i still feel more but this is just crazy i can't believe i got so many horses in one day oh so this is another one and uh, a little magenta on this one as well so we're gonna have some repainting fun on these guys but i still love this model so i'm definitely okay with it all right let's see what we have Oh my gosh, I like this one. Wow, she is the Tennessee Walking Horse. I feel like she's a little small compared to like scale, but still super cute. I love her colors. She'll just be like a pony. I think I'll just make her into a pony because she's like a little too small to be a like Tennessee Walker like compared to Frisian. Actually, well, she's just a bit smaller. She'll just be like, you know, a young Tennessee Walker. <laughs> she's pretty. I wouldn't change her color, I don't think either. So that's nice. I don't have to paint her. I honestly don't know when this is going to end, but oh my gosh, yes, finally! <laughs> I hate his colors, or her color, actually. So this is the British Spotted Pony. I hate her colors so much. Every time I see her in pictures, I'm like, ugh, but I want to paint this horse so bad, so I'm super glad I have her now. I'm going to repaint her. I don't know what color yet, but it's going to look better than this, this mess, this orange speckled mess. <laughs> Disaster. Ooh, look at this. This is the Peruvian Paso Mare. Wow, she is really pretty. Wow. Her tail is like really, I don't know, that's kind of weird. It looks a little weird twisty, but I guess it like keeps her up. It looks very sticky, but I wish it was a little bit more flowy. I might just custom that, I'm, I don't know. But I think she's in a pretty nice position in general, but maybe the tail could be like, I don't know, less line. <laughs> I think it might help her keep her balance. That's probably why it's like that. Okay. Oh my god, I still feel more. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a Pegasus. Wow, that is a very... I feel like those are very angry eyes. I don't know why. This is a Pegasus from Safari LTD. And wow, those wings are... Wow, striking. I like this horse. I like. Huge wings, too. Very detailed. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I totally forgot this was going to be in the package. Okay. Oh, this is the Dunfjord. Oh no, he has a little blue on him. All right, well, oh, yikes. Yeah, he's gonna have to be a repaint. I have this Fjord and I'm super happy to have another one, but I was expecting him to be in a little bit better condition. Maybe I could try and wash that off or something, but he's super cute. I love this model. I already have him in the tan color. All right. <gasps> yes, yes. Look at this llama or alpaca, I really don't know. 
but I've wanted this for so long. You have no idea. And they're really hard to find, actually. Like, I can't find them anywhere. No one seems to be wanting to get rid of them. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel more. Oh, okay. So this is the Rocky Mountain Mare, but she's in a... Okay, so we got a Black Forest and a Rocky Mountain. This one seems very similar to... Sorry, my chickens are, like, laying an egg right now, I think. This one seems similar to this one, almost. Kind of. You can kind of see the resemblance. It's not just me. But she's very pretty. I really like this one. I think they just need washing. I think that's probably why their color is so messed up. Okay. Wow, there's, like, multiple more in here. What do you think? All right, another spider horse. Okay. Let's see. I think this is the last one. Nope, there's more than one in here. I'm literally just feeling around. Like, this is insane. All right. Oh, I didn't know this one was coming. Oh my gosh, he is really gorgeous. Wow, oh, what happened there? Looks like they tried to do something with pencil. I don't really know. <laughs> but he's really cute. And look at that. He's just another one of the... Um, Appaloosa stallions, or Appaloosa gelding. I don't know why they put stallion there when he's not a stallion. Okay. Did I feel more in there? Oh my god, there's one. There's another one. Oh, this is the Frisian foal. I don't actually have this guy, so yay. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, I already have so many of her. I will repaint her. This is the Andalusian mare. She's beautiful, gorgeous, one of my favorite models. I think her hair is super annoying, though, when I'm trying to put on a saddle. Like, it's like, oh, it's in the way. Okay, now I have to, like, dig in here to make sure there's not anything else. Okay, I think we got it all. Charlie, what do you think? What do you think of all the toy horsies? It's like, I want to bite your finger. At least you're not biting the models, hey? Okay, well, this is insane. I've never unboxed 39 horses at a single time. I'm literally in love with like so many of them. Can't wait to repaint some of the duplicates like the Appaloosa and the Frisian. And I'm so happy with like having stuff from other brands. Like it's been so long since I've like explored more brands other than Schleich because I'm like, well, I just want to be a Schleich collector. But there's also so many other really awesome options too. Anyways, Roses. I hope you are having an amazing start to your fall and start to your school year. I certainly am having an interesting school year so far, so don't forget to check out my Instagram. I post there every day and I'm getting a new camera, which is super exciting. So I'll be able to take some awesome pictures because my brother started a photography class and like he's using my old camera now. Also check out my Etsy. I still have a bunch of stuff for sale and Charlie would really love if you bought something for me. Oh, God. He's in a very excited mood. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can have more videos like this. All right, guys, from Charlie and I, stay sweet. <laughs>